If you are looking for great audio and video quality for your podcast interviews or other online content, this platform is for you. I'm going to give you a full demo of Squadcast on this video. What you are looking at is the Squadcast website. Squadcast is a remote recording studio that will grab your audio and your video in the highest quality possible. Now, I'm going to walk you through all the features in this video, but first I want you to look at the pricing just so you know what you're getting into. Okay, now notice on Squadcast pricing, they have two tabs here for audio and for audio plus video. Let's just look at audio here for two hours a month, five hours a month, 12 hours a month, and 25 hours a month. They have four different packages. So you come down here, $10 a month is your two hours a month, $20 for five hours, $50 for 12 hours, and $150 for 25 hours. And there are some other little check boxes here on different types of features that you can find in all of those. Now, I just want to get into this and show you the features because Squadcast is really pretty cool. All right, so when you come into this section, this is like a dashboard, and you can set up a reusable session. What I love about this is that you're able to copy this invite link and send it to up to three guests, so the host plus three guests, and you can use this link over and over for all of your recordings. So say you schedule two guest interviews every week and you send those guests a templated email. Well, you can include this link in that templated email and you don't have to change it every single time because they're always gonna be coming into this reusable session to do the recording. Think of it like a recording room or studio where you go to meet your guests and do your recordings. Now you can add other specialized sessions where you can create a session name, you can set a date and a time for it, all of that. You can invite your guests through here and it will send them the session details, including the date and time. I don't typically use it that way, simply because this reusable session is so cool and so powerful. So you can also do the drop down here and it will show you where your cloud recordings for this can be found. Now, what that means is there is a backup recording going on that is recording the content that's going across the internet. That is not the typical content you're going to use for your podcast or your video cast because it's not as high quality. But in case something goes wrong with the platform, a connection drops, something like that, and you lose one of your high def recordings, you can request the cloud recordings and it will send the uh, Squadcast team will send them to you. So you at least have a backup, which I love. Okay, so let's start a session here, and I'm going to demonstrate to you what that's like. All right, now it's going to come up here with a green room, which is, hello, is the place where you're going to be able to put in your name. You are going to be able to select your microphone. So you see I have a number of options here. This one is the one I'm using right here. So I'm going to leave it selected. This pro webcam is the one that I want selected here. That's right here that I'm using. I also have my normal built-in laptop webcam. I'll let you see the difference there. It's not as high quality, which is why I don't use it. And then I also have Logic Capture, Capture which is the software that came with my high def camera. So I'm going to put it back on the camera that I want it on. My default audio is this second output, which is these earbuds that you see me using. And then this echo cancellation button. Let's talk for a moment about this. You notice they give you some really good instructions here. It says turn off if everyone is wearing headphones. So you always want your podcast guests to be wearing headphones. You want to always be wearing headphones. Why is that? Well, if I'm using the speakers on my laptop to listen to you and you're the guest on my podcast, your voice is coming out of those speakers right into my microphone. And so it can create sort of this echo tunnel sort of a sound and kind of give you distorted, goofy sound in audio. So you want to make sure everyone's wearing headphones or earbuds. If they are not, you can turn on this echo cancellation feature and it will mitigate that some. It won't be the greatest. If you use this echo cancellation when everyone is wearing headphones or earbuds, it can mess up your audio some. So I leave it off unless absolutely needed. Okay, so here I am 
I've got all my things set up and your guest, by the way, will get a screen just like this to set up all of their things properly. I'm going to hit join session. It's going to take me into the Squadcast recording area here and I will see myself. Now, when my guest appears, they will show up over here. So here's something I'm going to try. I've never done this before, but I'm going to click this invite button and I'm going to copy this link. All right. Now I'm going to go to my email. I'm going to send it to myself at my Gmail address. I'm going to call it link. I'm going to click here, paste in the thing and hit send. So we'll come over here to my other email and we'll see it show up here in just a moment. Okay. So you see it showed up there and here is what I'm going to do. I am going to grab my cell phone, which is right here. I am going to grab that link on my cell phone. Okay, so I'm going to my email. You can't see all this, I know. But I'm going to my email. I'm going to click on that link on my phone. All right. And I'm going to pretend my phone is the second guest. Okay, the guest that's been invited. And it's bringing up the Squadcast website for me. It is likely going to uh, require me to go through all those same checks that I did with uh, getting on Squadcast in the first place. I am plugging in my head, my earbuds now. I'm using these earbuds for the phone. And yeah, look there. Don't know how well you can see that because of the lights, but there, there's my camera. You can see I've got the opportunity here. So I'm going to type in my name, Carrie 2 is what I'm going to call it, just so you know. I'm gonna, And then it gives me an option to change my equipment. So I'm going to just use a uh, camera front facing, uh, microphone, I'm going to say wired headset, default is for my, my listening, and then I'm going to join the session. And here's what you're going to see. You're going to see me through the phone showing up there. It's really interesting. Okay. So there I am. Now notice the video quality over there <laughs> is bad. That's because it's coming over the internet, but that's not what's going to be recorded. What's going to be recorded is in each internet browser, then it's going to be synced to the cloud. It's going to be a really cool thing that you're going to see. Now, I'm going to see if I can set this phone down and not mess up the view here. Give me a second. All right, that ought to work. Now, that's me number two, and over here is me number one. One and two. Okay, so there we go. Now I can also see a use of this for getting separate camera angles for a solo recording. We'll get to that in a minute. But anyway, here's some of the cool things once you're inside this, okay? I'm gonna take out the earbuds because I'm hearing my voice echo uh, through there and I don't wanna hear that. Okay, over here in this cog setting on my thing, I can see all my settings. But as the host, I can also see that for my guest. So if something about their audio doesn't sound right to me, I can look here, see what they're using and advise them on which device to use. Maybe they didn't get it plugged in right. Maybe they didn't select it in the first place. You can guide them through. It's really, really cool that you can do this. All right. So over here, I can mute my microphone right now. My mic is muted. I can hide my camera. I can also share my screen. So when I do that, it asks me, what do you want to share? I tell them and I share. So this screen share now is able to be recorded just like it would be if we we're doing this over Google Meet or Zoom or something like that. All right. So when I want to stop sharing, I come down here and say stop sharing. Over here on the right, we've already seen the invite button. There's also in the far side over here, a chat so that I can say what up and I can enter it. And then over here on my phone, it's showing up as well. And the chat comes up and I said, it's supposed to be nothing, but it says nothing. So you see, you can chat with your guests right here. All right. Pretty cool. So I also have this, this little option for recordings. Okay. If I click on that, it'll say cloud recordings are available after your session is over. So that's where you can go to get those backups that we talked about before. Then up here, I can leave the call if I want. I can see various notifications and then there's a help section, okay? 
Now, notice also right up here, I can hide myself from the recording so that it only records the other um, option. I, there's a box down here where I can uh, unhide myself. I'm not exactly sure how to do that, but <laughs> I guess it's probably over here. View myself. Yeah. So there you go. I can hide myself and I'm assuming the guests can hide themselves as well. Now, what I want to do is hit record. I'm going to let this talk for a minute. I'm going to let this go for a minute so you can hear the audio on both sides of the conversation. I'm going to have to put my mic back on for that. And then uh, you can get an idea of how the recordings can be downloaded and how you can use them once you're done. So I'm going to hit record and then I'm going to mute my microphone over here so I don't get a weird kind of two voice thing going on in the recording. So here goes the record. Okay, this is Carrie 2 that is speaking to you right here. Carrie 2. And I'm speaking through this microphone that is here on my earbuds. And once I'm done speaking, I'm going to take this mic off. And then I'm going to unmute the other microphone. Okay, now I have taken off my earbuds and I've unmuted the other microphone so that you can hear my voice now. I was speaking into my other microphone so that it would be on the recording and this mic would not. So I think you understand there. So I'm going to stop the recording now. And you see it's uploading the video and it's uploading the audio on both channels. And it's going to show you progress on each one. See, this one is 3% done. This one looks like it's all the way done as far as the audio goes. See, both now have the audio completely done. And then it's rendering the video on those. So you want your guest to wait until, you're all, until all this is done uploading so that you can then download the full copies. All right. Now here I can manage the recordings by downloading them, share the link, deleting them, transfer them to Dropbox on certain levels of Squadcast accounts. I can master the audio with Dolby. I can re-render the recording if there seems to be something wrong with it. There's all kind of cool things I can do here. Now the video is rendering. You notice it's at 4%, so I'm going to have to wait on that to finish. And in time, I'll be able to uh, get off of this and download my files so that uh, it's available uh, all the way. Now I'm going to get myself in my phone off of the call. I'm going to say exit and you'll see me vanish over there. Yep, there it goes. So the guest left and now you will be able to see the progress here continue. Okay, now let's talk about Squadcast. Squadcast is one of the pioneers in this industry with a high attention to detail when it comes to the software, the programming, the customer service. They are a grassroots kind of a company. They have built this from the ground up. And Zach and Rock, the guys who run the company, are great to work with, as well as their team. I've never had a bad customer service experience with them. I've always enjoyed their platform. If you want to sign up for Squadcast, I would appreciate it if you use my affiliate link. It's going to be in the description of this video. But having said all that, Squadcast is something that whether you use my affiliate link or not, you will really enjoy the uh, user friendliness and the quality of video and audio that you receive from Squadcast. Now, I'm waiting here for these to finish their rendering, and then I'll come back and show you what to do with them once you're done. Okay, and so you see I closed out the session. Now I should be able to go in here and see the status on my cloud on my recordings again you see the video is still rendering i must have a, a slow internet connection today or something like that because a video that short should not be taking that long so either my internet connection is slow or someone else is on the internet here at the house as well so uh, in a moment when this is done rendering i will come back and show you what you do from here okay now that things are all done we can come here to the platform and you notice this uh, carry two is my cell phone thing and it did not upload the video. So you'd see an icon like this if the video was uploaded. That means that uh, it was probably just a bad connection of the cell phone. So if you come over here and go to download and click on that, you'll see the video versions are not available. 
But typically, that would not be the case. It was just this little trick I was trying to do to show you what a guest would look like that caused that. But here, you can go to download. You can download the MP4, which is the video. WebM is video only. So this has audio and video. This is video only. And then you can download your two different audio formats as well. You should do that for all of the uh, tracks that you have here. And then you'll be able to use those in your editing software to put together a great episode for your podcast.